on the Law Podcast. What's going on, family? Welcome to another episode of Beyond the Ball. I'm your host, Jonathan Jones, and this is a Speak Your Success Media production. Today, I want to take a slight pivot. We typically talk about helping athletes transition, and of course, the goal is to help them succeed beyond their degree. Although, I, I feel like the LinkedIn's and the strategies and the social media is all great and beneficial. However, uh, the thing that has gotten me to where I am today in life, in business, beyond college, beyond degrees, beyond titles, beyond goals, beyond accolades, it would have to be my relationship with Christ, right? So in the word of God, and if you all haven't heard the episode where I share my testimony, I will link the episode like if you're watching on YouTube, it'll be like right here. Um, if you're listening to the audio, I'll put it down in the show notes. But today, I, I want to just come from the perspective and share a little bit of, of text, right? Share a little bit of biblical backing um, to help you if you're going through something difficult right now, right? If if this is the person who is is is, is waiting for something to happen and you feel like you're waiting on God or you feel like you might not have a relationship with God. This episode is for you, right? Or even if you feel like you've been called to do something or told to do something, but at the same time, you feel like you don't have the tools, the resources, the guidance, the mentors to get to that place and to do that thing. This episode, this episode is for you as well, all right? So today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up that good old Bible app, right? And I want to read from... Uh, the text of Exodus, Exodus, and we're going to read Exodus chapter three. So if you want to follow along, it's going to be Exodus chapter three, verse 10, and we're going to go from there. Okay. We're going to go from there. And the text reads, and now come and I will send to you Pharaoh so that you may bring my people, the sons of Israel out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, who am I? Right. He's like, who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and that I should bring the sons of Israel out of Egypt? Right. So he's already doubting God. Like, who am I that I'm the one to go and talk to this person who has high status? Right. Who am I? Then he went on to say in verse 12, and he said, assuredly. I will be with you. This is God talking to him. And this shall be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you shall worship God at this mountain. Okay, so Moses is coming with a question, but who am I? And God's saying, well, you're the person that I sent. Then verse 13 says, then Moses said to God, behold, I am going to the sons of Israel and I will say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. Now they may say to me, what is his name? And what shall I say to them? Verse 14 says, and God said to Moses, I am who I am. Mm, I am who I am. And he said, this is what you shall say to the sons of Israel. I am sent me to you. We're going to break this down a little bit, just a second. And then verse 15 says, God furthermore said to Moses, this is what you shall say to the sons of Israel, the Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. And this is the name for all generations to use to call upon me. May God bless the readers and the doers of his word okay so what, what what's happening in the text what's happening in the text so and once again i said I, I i titled this why are you doubting god so what's taking place in the text is moses who biblical scholars have said and we've learned previously that moses is somebody who had what they describe as a speech impediment Right. So he might have had like a stutter, might have struggled conveying certain words. And what we know, because I have a stutter and what I know is that there have been points in times to where I won't say certain words. 
different points in times to where I wouldn't want to get up in front of the class and speak because I I, I, I would go 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 like this and, 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 and so therefore it made me feel inadequate at times right at times but what but what's happening here in the text, it says, and now come and I will send you to Pharaoh so that you may bring my people, the sons of Israel, out of Egypt. Okay. So right here, for the first point, this was Mer Moses' first excuse. Who am I? that I should go to Pharaoh and I should bring sons of Israel out of Egypt. I wanted to bring this forth because I don't know where you are in your life right now, but there may be times to where, based on where you were from, based on you coming from a single parent household, based on you coming from an abusive household, based on you coming from a household that might've lacked resources, you might've not had the best environment growing up, all of the things that we can think that potentially may be reasons for why we should be disqualified from certain opportunities, from certain things and from certain spaces, right? This is where it might give us the reason to feel like this can be an adequate excuse. However, right, even after that excuse, this is what happened. God countered that excuse. God countered that excuse. This is why I love the word of God. And this is why the word of God is described as a living, breathing word. Right. The Bible says it cuts like a two edged sword. OK, that's sharp. But look right here. This, this, this is what we have right here. OK, so in the. In, in the text right here, this is what it says. And he said, assuredly, I will be with you. The Bible tells us countless, countless times, countless times, uh, God reminds us in different ways that he will not leave us nor forsake us, right? He lets us know that if I'm with you, despite what your background is, despite the environment you grew up in, despite all of these things, D -d despite you not having the best GPA, despite you not having these credentials, despite you not graduating college, you not graduating high school, I am with you. And if I'm with you, that's all that you need, right? He says in the text, assuredly, I am with you. This is the sign. This is the sign. Right here in the text, it says it. This is the sign that it is I have sent you. So he says, I'm with you. But then he says, I've sent you. If God has sent you to a place on your campus, if God has sent you to a place on your team, if God has sent you anywhere, hear me and hear me good. You have what you need. You have the experiences. You have the wisdom. You have the insight that you need for you to complete the task that's at hand. Because God sent you. Right? Man, that's so powerful. But then the second point I just want to share. The second point that I have for you here is as follows. It said, then the second thing that Moses said, behold, I am going to the sons of Israel, right? He's saying, behold, somebody who is greater than me, I'm going to somebody who's greater than me. And it says, and I will say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me. Now they may say to me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? Y'all, the word of God is so powerful. And this is why. Because now he's saying, well, what credential do I have? What degree do I have? 
What ability do I have that I have the that I have the power to step up to somebody who's greater than me, somebody who's done more than me, somebody who's gone further than me to tell them to release your people? What credential do I have? And then God comes back in the text and he says, tell him I am. I am. Think about this for a second. Whenever you put I am before something, it's an affirmation to that thing. Let's do the exercise. I am fearful. You're going to be scared. I am terrified. I am so stressed out right now. Oh my goodness. I am, I'm exhausted. I'm so burnt out. I'm so tired. I don't know what to do with myself. I can't do this. When we speak those things, then that's what, that's the reality that we create. Right. But think about when we flip that on his head and we began to say, well, I am strong. I am powerful. I am a force to be reckoned with. I am powerful. I am a leader. In the power of words, just as the Bible tells us, the power of life and death lies in our tongue. If we begin to speak affirmations of affirmations and declarations of clarity, affirmations and declarations of things that we desire, then we can begin to create that reality and that truth. Moses was given the opportunity to begin to say, I am. I am sent me. Who is I am? I am. Is that that I am? And man, and, and, and this is one thing that, 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 that's so powerful about when you, if you don't have a relationship with Christ, as you began to get to that point, and then you began to listen to sermons and, and listen to other ministers and individuals share their testimonies and speak and different things like that. You began to realize that the more you read the word, the more you understand that God had many names, many names, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, Jehovah Nisi, Lord, you reign because going back to the, I am God has the ability to be anything that we need him to be. He's omniscient. He's everywhere. He's all over. So therefore, Moses having the opportunity to step up and said, I am sent me. I am is with me. So Pharaoh, you can have all the credentials. You can be the highest of the high. You can be whoever you want to be, the president of the United States. But either way, that's the president of the United States. This is God Almighty, the creator of heaven and earth. So I wanted to share this text and I want to break this down to you all today. Just because we can get so bogged down thinking that I'm in the rat race of life, right? I'm doing this to graduate. I'm doing this to get here. But what happens when you get there and you don't feel the sense of fulfillment that you thought you were going to get from a piece of paper, from walking across the stage, from being a life of a party, from being somebody that everybody calls and screams out your name? At the end of the day, people will call and scream out your name, but they're only going to do it for a certain amount of time. And then what happens next? We need to be full. We need to know that the only person that can save is Jesus Christ, right? So uh, I want to end this episode and I want to go ahead and uh, I want to pray for you, right? And if you're somebody out there, you're listening, you're like, John, I'm on campus. I don't know where the resources are. I don't know who to connect with. I just want somebody to pray for me. Send me a DM at speakyoursuccessmedia.com. I mean, at speakyoursuccessmedia on Instagram. And I will send you a DM back and I will pray for you. Okay? 
because we can have all the accolades, all the trophies, all the glitz, all the glam, but I don't want you to feel empty inside. And I'll pray for you. And then I'll even see how I can connect you with somebody on campus or further connect you, you know, with the FCA or, you know, somebody on campus to where we can see how you can get plugged into a local body, a church, athletes in action type deal. But let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and pray for you now. Father God, thank you for the individuals who taking the time to listen to this episode. I pray, Lord, that uh, this has shared some shed some light uh, for the kingdom. And also, Lord God, I pray that this will be a wake up call for some of us, Lord God. If we, we, we said we've been feeling a tugging in our heart and we didn't know where it was coming from or what it was for. I pray that this would be confirmed, Lord, that this was a tugging of the Holy Spirit within their lives. And I pray, Lord God, that whatever struggle, whatever hurt, whatever pain uh, it might be that might be hindering anyone from uh, moving and progressing forward in what you have for them, I pray that they would submit it to you, Lord God. I pray that you would provide healing in this season. And I pray, Lord God, as anybody out here is seeking or searching for something new, something different, because the, the, they tried the world and the world didn't didn't fill them up, Lord God. The world didn't give them what they needed. I pray, Lord God, that in this time that they would say the sinner's prayer, they would say, Father God, if, you, if you're out there right now and you're listening to this and you're saying, I need to say the sinner's prayer, then just repeat this after me. Say, Father God, I am a sinner. And your word tells, tells us that we all fall short. So God, I've fallen short of your glory. And today, Lord God, I want to live for you, right? Repeat that after me. I want to live for you, God. So today, Lord God, I submit my life to you. Submit my life to you so that I can take up your cross and so that I can allow the Holy Spirit to live within me and I can do what you have called me to do and I can serve how you've called me to serve. And knowing that your son Jesus died for me, I believe it. I receive him. My life is no longer my own. My life is yours. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And if you prayed that prayer, right? If you just prayed that prayer with me, you have accepted Jesus. So you now, my friend, are saved. But I want you also to know that being saved and being saved is a decision, right? You making a decision to say, Lord Jesus, I accept you. I let you in my life. However, the process of turning from old habits and turning from previous temptations, that is going to be a continuous process. I still, even to this day, still have struggles Right. The walk of faith is not a walk that's done as one and done. Hey, I'm perfect. I'm washed. I'm clean now. You're washed and you're clean, but that doesn't mean that you won't stumble again. So once again, like I said, uh, if you're listening to this episode, you're like, John, please, please pray for me. Send a message to speak your success media on Instagram. Speak your success media. All one word. And I'll pray with you. I'll pray for you. And See how, you know, I can get you connected with FCA or, you know, find you somebody who that you can connect with further. Family, this has been another episode of Beyond the Ball, where we help student athletes succeed beyond their degree. Uh, it's a Speak Your Success media production. And family, until next time, okay? I want you to know that we help students succeed beyond their degree. And it's not always tips, tricks, and tools. Sometimes it's truth. Till next time, peace. God bless.